In today's shave, I'll be using a razor that has a lot of buzz about it. It's from a well-established razor maker here in the US. We're talking about the Blackland Blackbird Lite. This razor reportedly has half the blade feel of the original, and we're gonna find out, is it true? Is it a load of baloney? What's my experience with this razor? Keep on watching to find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So glad that you could stop by today. I've got a shave for you today using some new products in the shave den. Uh, first up, as I mentioned in the intro, is the Blackland Blackbird Light. This is a stainless steel razor that's supposed to be milder than the original Blackbird. So I know a lot of you are curious about uh, how this is, how this performs. So we'll be using this with a Gillette Nasset blade, as well as go to a few of the details of the razor. Also, I've got some uh, newer for me software, and that is a Gentleman's Nod, Cosecia Catalana. And we've got the shave soap here, very, sporting some very nice artwork and a nice side label, uh, as well as uh, we've got the soap and the matching splash right here. And the last piece of gear I just want to mention to go along with the whole purple theme of Cosecia Catalana, I'm going to use the wall shaving A1 Haunter brush right here. And this was one of my favorites, uh, one of my pickups from 2022 that I featured in my recent video. I'll be sure to put a link either up here or in the, you know, in the description if you want to check that out. It's like lathering with a marshmallow. That's what, <laughs> especially if you face lather, it's like lathering with a cloud, a marshmallow. Really, really luxurious, unique feel. Also, I'm working with about four days worth of beard growth. This is less than some of you out there. This is more than some of you out there. Whatever it is, this is my beard growth in four days. I have no control over it, but it's what we're shaving down. So first, let's talk about the scent on the soap. Uh, I've used this soap for a number of shaves now. I got this towards maybe like the middle of December of 2022. So I've used this for a number of shaves. This is not my first go. Uh, so the first thing let's do is highlight the official scent notes. We've got bergamot, basil, sage, artemisia, clementine, germanium leaves, Oris, hyacinth, cedarwood, vetiver, santaminol, sandalwood, musk, and finally, golden amber. The pricing on this release has the soap at $25 USD and the aftershave splash at $22 USD. All right, so now that we've got some of the nitty gritty out of the way, let's talk more about this release. Uh, Cossetia Catalana is a fall special edition, and this is a Mediterranean style scent that is inspired by the fall harvest. And what I personally get from this scent is uh, a scent that is herbaceous, floral, and sweet. And just a note that sweet, uh, it's in a nice kind of citrusy balance. It's not overwhelmingly sweet. This is not something super heavy, something you might get from like a vanilla or um, like a sweet tobacco. It's a more mild sweetness and um, this could probably easily come off as a warm weather scent, but uh, something about that herbaceousness and probably some of the woody notes uh, do kind of give it a little more oomph and uh, it being a fall scent, I think that's perf perfectly categorized. And you know, the reason I checked this out in the first place was when I was asking for nominations uh, for the Lather Talk Awards. And that's a quick reminder, uh, if you haven't done this already, please go vote for your favorites in the Lather Talk Awards, I've included a link in the description below as well. But out of those nominations, I, I noticed a few came up again and again. They were touted as people's favorites for the year. So you'll see, you know, along with this one and in the upcoming next few weeks, uh, I wound up picking up some of those scents because I was really curious. I, I, I do listen to you guys as well. Uh, I know people come to me for my scent recommendations and suggestions, and I'm always looking for recommendations myself. So I would say for this coming year, for 2023, I am keeping a closer eye on Gentleman's Nod as they produced my favorite scent for 2022, and that's Musashi. Um, I do like Musashi better than this one, Kosecia Catalana, but I, I can see why this is, um, this is why this is a favorite for a lot of guys out there. It's easily likable, I think really versatile. I just got, I got a whiff of peach right now, actually. Um, 
and that might be some scent inception, you know, where um, I was having a conversation with some wet shaping buddies and uh, in the description, when you read you know, certain notes um, being described, you know, in this case, the fall harvest, you know, fruits who are ripened and sweet. Um, I definitely read that in preparation of this video and I got the peach. I, I just got up with the peach right now. I can't say I had uh, in my previous shaves gotten that note specifically, but it was definitely there in the mix. I do want to note that this C4 base, and I think in general of the different bases I've used from Gentleman's Nod, they are quite thirsty and they're not, um, they're not overly airy or voluminous. They actually stay um, very low density. So just a note then to hydrate a lot and probably don't load too heavy. All right, so we got the lather all set here. And let's go in with the first pass with the Blackbird Light. The main way you can tell the difference, very straightforward, is on the base plate underneath, it's, they stamp in the word light. I don't know, it's over here. I don't know if that's coming through between glare and just like things going out of focus. But uh, this is a stainless steel version. Uh, there is a titanium one. It might be out already by the time this video comes out. And lastly for the blade, I'm using Gillette Nasset, just in case I forgot to mention that before. So let's go in, let's do it. So as I'm describing this razor too, a lot of you are gonna to wanna to know how it compares to the original, the original Blackland Blackbird. And I will have to say that my main uh, point of reference is the titanium version. So that might be a little different, but in general, even before I ever used a Blackland razor, they've always been known for more aggressive razors. Those of you guys who love blade feel, mo you know, most of the razors have at least a, a moderate amount of blade feel, if not a lot of blade feel. And this offering the light, first off, just business-wise, it's smart because there's people who probably want to try Blackland who have heard good things about them, but just don't, they just don't prefer a lot of blade feel. They want something milder. And so just trying to cater, cater to that audience, I think great idea in general. And that's what actually sparked interest in checking this out because I, I want to try it for myself. In general, I do prefer milder razors, um, but huge caveat here is that the Blackland Blackbird Titanium is my absolute favorite goat razor. So I'm not looking to unseat that by any means, but I just want to see how it compares. So I was able to reach out to Shane and a really, really big note of disclosure here is that he sent me this razor uh, to use. He sent me razors in the past. Uh, so thank you so much, Shane from Blackland. Uh, all opinions, I gotta, I gotta say this, all opinions are my own. I'm not getting any sort of kickback to you know, praise this razor. Uh, I'm not gonna go out of my way and trash this razor either, but just to share with you my experience with it. So going to the actual product page itself, uh, Blackland has described this razor as having half the blade feel of the original Blackbird. And again, I can't compare it to the stainless steel, but I will say even when compared to the titanium, this certainly has less blade feel. But guys, make note, it's lighter, but that's to say there's, it's not no blade feel. So for those of you who like the Carve Overlander or Carve Christopher Bradley, like B, ABC plate, this has more blade feel than those guys. Uh, for those of you who use the Rockwell 6C or 6S, this has more blade feel than any of the plates. It would be probably, uh, if there was an imaginary hypothetical um, seven or eight plate, I think that's more the territory that the Blackbird Light is, is going into. And I also do need to note that this is not my first shave with it. I've had about three shaves before to kind of get wrap my head around it, find the angle, uh, make mistakes and whatnot, uh, and to try to just bring you a more informed, it's not, it's not a review, but a, a more informed video covering this razor. So it is lighter in blade feel, but compared to the main well-known 
mild razors on the market, this still has more blade feel than that. So if you're going to go to mild, moderate, and, oh, wait, and, and aggressive, yeah, mild, moderate, aggressive, as far as blade feel goes, this is on the moderate or like a moderate light. Okay, going in for the second pass, and we've talked about blade feel. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is efficiency, because that's a big, big thing, right? So this has certainly been established as milder than the original Blackbird. I can definitely, you know, we can confirm that. If it's milder than the Titanium, I'm sure as heck it's milder than the sta original stainless steel version. And efficiency is the other thing, because people, there's quite a number of you out there who want the efficiency of the original Blackbird uh, in a lighter, you know, lighter format. I will say, and this is, of course, in my opinion, uh, this is not as efficient as the original Blackbird. It's got moderate efficiency, so don't get me wrong. Uh, and this is where it, it doesn't replace my Blackbird Titanium, is um, this is a great daily shaver. I would say, and it does a good job. You'll, you'll get clean and smooth, but the rate at which your hair returns, my Blackbird Titanium, and I've said this before, I can you know skip shaving for two to three days afterwards. I can't say the same for the light version of the Blackbird. Uh, I'll, I'll have to, you know, usually by the next day, I, I might get away with some a stubbly look for one day, but I definitely would not skip two or three days. Uh, worth of shaves with this one. So efficiency wise, I would say it does not match it, nor I think once you should start, you know, changing and altering the head geometry um, to get that milder feel, uh, of course, I think it's gonna be affected. And that might be a challenge, I don't know, to either Blackland or other razor makers. Is there a way for a, for a low blade feel, high, a truly high efficiency razor? I don't know if those are mutually exclusive. If you put it on a, if you, you plot it out on a graph, does that even make sense with the actual manufacturing and design of these things? Who knows? I don't think that really exists, but the closest thing to like a, you know, um, like moderate blade feel or less blade feel and high efficiency, that's what the titanium, the black Blackbird titanium does for me. That's why I love it so much. Now I can't forget to mention the price of this razor. So the Blackland Blackbird Light in stainless steel. Uh, this is the machine version and the machine one costs $200 USD. So this is on the higher end uh, of the spectrum as far as razors go. And you can get a polished version for those of you who like nice shiny things, nice shiny razors. Uh, that is $255 USD. And a titanium version is coming out, and that's probably going to be in the uh, $300 plus range, would be my guess, based on the pricing of the Blackbird, the original Blackbird titanium. So I know this razor is not for everyone. Um, I also rather not delve into it. is it worth it? Because that's such a. I'm always going to push back on that question because that's such a personal. Uh, Personal, not like, oh, don't you dare ask that, but that's such a uh, specific to you kind of question. And your budget, how much you like to spend on razors and spend on certain things. Um, I will just say that, you know, spend within your means. Uh, there's great, excellent razors, whether it's from Blackland or other folks um, at various price points. And if you're looking for something, you know, under a hundred dollars, that's great. But there's also, there's people who are really into their shaving YouTubers and otherwise uh, hobbyists uh, that don't mind dropping some, you know, some cash, some hard-earned money uh, on nicer razors, and that's that's just the state of things. So I just want to put that out there. If in the comments someone's asked, but is it worth, you know, is this one worth more than this one? Uh, I'm I'm just going to ignore the question. I'm sorry, and I'm, I just don't want to dive into that. One 
other note is I do notice in my, particularly my chin, like right here at the tip and the mustache area, I particularly have to go back in and do some cleanup here. And that's kind of the main purpose. I think the, the, the you know, cheeks and the main big broad areas are fine, but with my shaves with the light, I was gonna go make sure I clean this up because it winds up after two passes, it's always been more stubby, stubbier. There's been more stubble than I like, uh, you know, in, in appearing clean shaven. So we're doing this here. All right, so a really solid shave for today. First up, let's talk about the software we use, Cosecha Catalana. Uh, really wonderful scent, really unique. Um, nothing I would directly compare this to, as I think part of the reason I, I really like it is that it occupies a unique space in my software collection. Uh, it's really approachable, guys. Um, this one's uh, definitely a crowd pleaser. It's hard to not like. Uh, as I mentioned uh, when I went through the shave itself, uh, that combination of like floral and stone fruit and sweetness, um, it, it, it gives that, you know, that, that peach type scent and also apricots. They're kind of, they kind of go hand in hand. So uh, scents like uh, A&D, Apricity, I think that's how you say it, um, and other, other ones that kind of uh, utilize stone fruit, uh, that kind of special magic that happens there is definitely here. Um, but that's not, that's not really the main player. Uh, in Catalana uh, because again it has that herbaceousness it's got some florals in there but I think even if you're not a big floral guy uh, there's not so much floral in here that's gonna turn you off so really wonderful scent here from Gentleman's Nod great job Chris uh, on, on this release and again looking forward to what you're coming out with this coming year and my closing thoughts on the Blackland Blackbird Light uh, one question I've been really asking myself as I've been going through, um, you know, I traveled with this razor to New York just to have more time with it. Uh, and I'm asking myself, who is this razor for? So uh, for me, uh, because I've used and because I love the Blacklin Blackbird Titanium, I'm sorry if I am saying that too much, but uh, for the amount of blade feel, I expect and I desire a certain amount of efficiency at this, at the very least, a moderate amount of efficiency, if not high. So I've gotten rid of other razors in the past because uh, the blade feel did not warrant, like the higher amount of blade feel did not match the lower efficiency. I, I didn't really want that experience. And the Blackbird Light kind of dives into that territory where if you're gonna have this moderate, moderate light blade feel, I'll, uh, I want moderate to you know high efficiency out of it. And given, and this could be you know just me figuring it out, but uh, given the mouse double left on my mustache and um, and chin area, and also when I need to shave again, uh, it's just not efficient enough for what I what would I feel like I'm getting from the blade feel? So that's my personal preference and that's in comparison to a, uh, a more expensive razor from the same maker. Now who this might be for, who I could see this for is again, uh, this could be a way to dip your toes and try a Blackland razor. I do think having some amount of blade feel is kind of part of that Blackland razor experience. You can take that however you want, but it's a reputation that's been established over the years. So, um, you know, I don't ever see a truly like low to like no blade feel razor f from them. I mean, maybe in the future, just to further diversify the catalog, but you know, this is still very much a Blackland product based on the amount of blade feel it has. And I think that's kind of crucial to the equation. So to kind of sum that all up, if you like moderate blade feel, and you like moderate to you know moderate light efficiency, this razor is gonna be perfect for you. I do think this is gonna be a tricky one, a very case by case scenario. Uh, and hopefully my experience with it today helps give you some more data points uh, to pull the trigger or maybe go and borrow one if uh, you know if you're interested in this. Because 
I think it's pretty, it is pretty unique. I'll rack my brain some more uh, to, to maybe make some comparisons what this razor's like. Uh, I definitely match it up as far as the blade feel. I feel pretty confident in saying it's like a R7, R8 plate on a Rockwell if that existed. Or for the car, this is probably at least a D or E plate for the Christopher Bradley. Those are some more examples for you guys. So don't get me wrong, this razor provides a comfortable shave. It does the job, but as far as my own personal preferences, it doesn't quite line up and that's really the bottom line. Now I definitely wanna hear from you guys as well. For those of you who might have tried the light, it's only been out about a month or two uh, at this point. So let me know, what is your experience on it? What have you heard? Is this a razor that you're interested in? Let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys again so much for tuning in today. I know you all have some very busy schedules, but the fact that you took some time out and joined me for the shave, I really, really appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.